G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. <laughs> uh, we've acquired Hopefully. a broken base with a broken rover. How's it going, mm. TFA? Um, not ideal. My no. rover is in quite a few pieces, and most of our base is damaged. Yes, but we do just barely have enough to get ourselves back up and functional. We have an assembler. We have a basic refinery. We probably got enough silver left over from before that we could repair our med bay. Mm, don't we have to get out of the... Isn't this similar refinery that's damaged? It's got silver in it. Uh, probably the damage... Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's the damaged refinery that has all our silver. Ah. Yep. Okay, okay. so I guess what we need to do... <laughs> Fix that first before we die. Yeah. Yeah. So we can get this medical room repaired. Do we have any medical components left in the survival kit over here? One. Right. Okay, so that's that's all fine. What do we need for the refinery? Yeah, we need cobalt and a little bit of iron, and then we'll have the refinery back up. Because we only need 20 metal, 20 metal grids. And we have to not die while doing it. Actually, we, we just need the cobalt. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so we, we have a Columbus flying grids. overhead and a Telesto gas hauler flying overhead. They don't seem very threatening. No, they seem far enough away. I am not going to jetpack over to the cobalt. No, that sounds um, dangerous. It's only 300 meters away, so I might just run. Not a bad idea. Although, we are now uh, getting into the dark times. Hmm. I mean, there is still your vehicle still mostly intact. It's true. But it is also our only way of getting power at the moment. Mm. So I don't want to break it. <laughs> so we're now sprinting across the lunar darkness. Yep. We're going to need some lights on this base very soon. <laughs> we're lucky our battery on our base didn't get smashed. And somehow the battery on my rover is still intact. Oh, I maybe that's it's not what... attached to the rest of it, but... Oh, is it still... Wait, the battery's still attached to the base as well, isn't it? Uh, Technically, yeah, through the connector. Yeah. The mixture of terribly bad and terribly good luck in the way that... <laughs> That our base yes. got smashed is uh, amusing to me. So, thinking about um, protecting ourselves from the next attack, we've obviously got the easy solution, which is just put stuff underground because then it'll be completely invulnerable and perfectly safe. Mm. Or we've got the slightly more spicy approach, which involves us building more guns. Mm. Or we could convert the entire base into a rover. We've driven on this dust ball, and I'm not sure I want to drive a large rover on it. That is a fair point. <laughs> I'm going to advocate for the more guns approach. Or mm. more uh, guns and maybe some sort of roof. Uh, not Obviously not over the solar panels, but like just below that. Yeah, some sort of enclosure, you're thinking. Mm. I'll get my revenge by grinding down this drone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to rebuild your new vehicle with the same colour scheme at least, or are you going to um, try Probably. Something? I should actually be able to, because uh, yeah, it looks like the... Okay, most of the grid's actually still attached. I think the battery is still... Yeah, it's attached underneath. So most of it's actually intact. I've just got to re-add the wheel oh, yeah. to do the front bit. Yeah, your wheelbase... Yeah, <laughs> that's so but... weird. Your wheelbase is intact. It's just your cockpit's popped off. Wait, how did it... Okay, I'm confused. Did it... Obviously, it hit this side with itself, but it must have shot the wheels off the other side first? Because nice. it, it couldn't have crashed on both sides, or this would be, yeah. Just a little more stone, and we'll have the grids, and we'll have and we'll have our refinery back up, which means we can get everything else rebuilt. Get everything out of it. But yeah, I do. I do think a roof and things like that is a good idea. Mm. I'm on board with that. Oh, I just realised there was only a single steel plate in the rotor part. Oh yeah. What did you not weld it up? Nope. And somehow it managed to shoot everything else. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> that seems suspicious. Hey. Uh, We've already established planning is not a thing that we did. Uh, we are out of iron. Yep. And we need it for the medical component. Oh. Uh, and stone? I don't... I suppose so, yeah. How much iron do we need? We only need 240. Uh, yeah, that'll work. And just like that, we can pretend nothing bad ever happened. Well, 
for people who didn't watch the end of the previous episode. Shh. <laughs> You're breaking my immersion. With regard to putting stuff underground, you you could if you would like to. I won't I won't be uh, anti this idea. Uh, you could put a single survival kit attached to a battery underground. Just so we have a way to rebuild in if the worst were to happen. That does sound like a good idea. And we have got that hole we dug under the base. We do. So shall I leave the insurance policy in your hands? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Because I think a single survival kit attached to a battery is not likely to run out of power in... No, it'll take a very long time. Oh, gonna need 1,000 iron. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do we want to fit your rover out as a cargo rover and we can both go do some hand mining and grab some iron? That sounds like a good idea. Alright, I'll, I'll do some hand mining here for stone so you've got the necessary parts while you lay out what you want to do on it. Yeah. Luckily it seems like we've only been attacked when we've gone and annoyed a base. Like, there hasn't been anything just coming out to get us. And that's, that's precisely how ACS is supposed to work for the vast majority of the time you're playing. It will, when you start annoying them a lot, occasionally come out and harass your base without you provoking it, but generally speaking, it will have to be provoked. And that's intentional, because I want, I want players to be able to have some chill time when they want it. Yeah. So the unprovoked attacks will be intentionally rare. Mm, you've annoyed them so much that... Energy yeah, low. still possible, but full. rare. And hopefully not completely devastating when they do happen. Um, so, your cargo containers. You've arranged yeah. them so that the ports go upwards, because you were trying to connect it to the chain of pipes along the top. Yeah. What if instead of that, you use a conveyor converter to connect to the top and you flip the cargo containers around to the side so that you can dump stuff directly into them. Mm. I was going to say, that, yeah, you can... That way you don't have to just the... use the connector, you'll have access to on the side as well. Uh, that's not how I meant. Huh? I was going to say, you can you run the connection along the side. No, 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 no. How many ro ways are there to rotate a cargo container? This container's way. Anyway? Oh, that... Leave. So now the the two conveyor converters at each end are connecting to that pipe that's running along the roof. The, con yep. the cargo containers are connected to each other via their large port um, and have their small port for easy dumping from the outside. Okay. Oh, you got some little spikes on your little chin guard yeah. now. Yeah, it's a bit more aggressive. <laughs> it looks it looks very uh, insectoid. It does. Um, I should have put the eyes on top of its head. <laughs> Since you haven't given me a seat, shall we just take both of our rovers, drive it together, go collect it, come back? Uh, yeah, that could work. That way we'll have a bit of extra carrying capacity, we'll have the survival kit if we need anything. I believe I'm ready. Huh? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, Checking gee, my search the, yellow, the yellow beam. <laughs> I thought something was firing a laser at us for a second. Well, at least we'll be able to see anything that um, starts shooting at us, because that actually has higher targeting radius than the turrets on this do. Hmm. I should probably blueprint this version before it gets blown up again. <laughs> 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 I should probably do the same. Actually, I wonder if I could... That'd be ridiculous. I wonder if I could put, I could put like, a rotor turret on each side. I mean, you could. I'm not, I'm not going to stop you. Mm, uh, I think we just go out and see what's at the biohazard containment we captured. Yeah, let's head there and then we'll stop by some, um, uh, stop by the iron mine on the way back. Oh, I just hit something. Oh, I lost a light. I know. Oh yeah, this is a big, hey. this is a big dip. Mm. You don't appreciate it until you actually go over the yeah. edge. <laughs> okay, yeah, the flickering of your lights makes it look very alien. My rover or just the environment? Uh, the searchlight. Flickering on the terrain. I imagine uh, if you made it green, it would look even... You just crash. Little? Uh, why is your beam pointing straight up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good indicator if you flipped your vehicle, because the beam will just be vertical. <laughs> <laughs> the design feature. 
Sure. <laughs> Have we got any good stuff from here? Oh. Nope, should I have plenty of still play? Oh. Let's go inspect. Quasimodo is a long way away. Got an intact battery we might want to see if we can bring back. Mm, yeah, we need a crane or something. Yeah, but because, you know, nighttime, moon, no power. Yeah. Windows, uh, the lockers. lockers. A few med kits. Alright. Uh, oh, we've got an air vent. Uh, window. Oh, almost completely intact antenna. That'll be handy. 17 uh, rifle magazines. Ah, where'd the ammo go? <laughs> Got it. Fuel nice. critical. <laughs> Wondered where it went. Uh, right. Well, I suppose we start. We're probably not going to move here, are we? No. I was going to say, like, the windows and stuff, they're good for putting, like, a dome or something over our base. Yeah, yeah. They are a lot of silicon for Inventory full. Yep. Alright, well, we start loading you up. Inventory yes, we full. may. I may potentially need to add more cargo. Yeah. Inventory Back to you. full. Yeah, I can, I can put another two con uh, containers on each side. There's enough space. Well, what I'm more thinking Hello. is maybe we investigate building something that flies. Fuel critical. That could work. Well, then we need a lot more ice. But we've got ice in our crater. Uh, true. But we probably also want to get off uh, hand mining, ideally. Well, yeah, so shall I, when we get back, I'll build a mining ship. Hydrogen yeah, powered mining ship. If I focus on making a little miner first, like not going too big, just going something real simple. Don't follow me. Okay. I was going to say, by the time you do that, I can probably have come back here for another trip. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you if you do another trip and you then... Also, you need to yeah, GPS a path. <laughs> I'm trying to see where you are. Up to a staggering nine metres a second. Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, bit of a jump. How's that look with the light on you? Very weird. <laughs> well, I don't get the feeling you're going to do a whole bunch of searchlights as like a disco thing. <laughs> Have them all different colours. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did oh I just see you just... dear. Did you just crash? No. Not yet. Somehow what? didn't. Are you just you're sliding down a hill with incredible speed? No, I, I completely lost sight of the ground. Oh. Like, Have I was you... that far away that my 20 meter lights couldn't light it up at all. Now, how much power do you reckon I need? Do I need a large battery, or could I get away with a few small ones on a hydrogen powered uh, miner? Well, I'm assuming that you wouldn't. You would be getting the fuel from the base, you wouldn't be making it on the miner. Correct. Mm. I'm trying to think. Like, honestly, the drill would probably be the biggest power consumer. The drill in my suit, I reckon. Hmm. No, it's probably it... smarter to go for a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah. The little ones just hold so little. I was going to suggest remote control, but that seems a bit unnecessary. It's quite... I find remote controlling miners very difficult, because you need that... Um, I mean, I imagine I'd find it the same difficulty if I went first person only. Yeah. I find I need that external perspective to not hit things too hard. I was going to say, we probably aren't generating enough power to put all speed modules on the um, assembler. We're not generating power at all. True. <laughs> so I would argue, no, we do not have enough power to do that. That'd be fine. How many small hydrogen tanks do you reckon I need? Mm, I'd probably say four, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I've got ten. Oh, we'll see how 10 goes. So I'm thinking we use like this lemon yellow <laughs> something temporarily. We can change it later, but lemon yellow and then use the gray for like the floors and stuff. Mm, not sure what I think about that. <laughs> I'm gathering that you're not sold. Not really. Have to use a bit more sparingly, I think. 
Fuel critical. Oh no! No! You're falling into the pit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have another look for some other colours because you're so unhappy with it. <laughs> it's just. It seems a little bit vomit coloured. Wow. <laughs> well, You're not holding back on that description, are you? I mean, <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't want my base. I don't want a base about that. <laughs> All right, I'll find another color. I might go with this. Oh, I might go falling. for an outrageous orange, which is kind of a peachy to your more um, hazard orange. Mm. Hey, cool. We can see an asteroid belt above us oh. with the position Where? of the sun. Oh, over there. Yeah. I can, I can see it. I can cross the whole sky. I presume that's my Ooh, increased draw I can distance. see. I can see two little plants in the distance. Oh, yeah. Through their moons. Yeah, it looks like um, some sort of reddish and then a whitish, bluish something. Hmm. Oh, we've got plenty to explore out there. All right. We got two down thrust. We've got the... Have you got, have you got gyros? Yes. Good. So one of the first things I put on there. Um, I've got 10 lifting thrust, which is probably way overdone. I mean, it always means you can add more cargo later. I've got four reverse thrust, two left, two right, six forward. And I just need to get... So I've got forward, back, left, right, up, down. All accounted for. I've now just got to get my stone ejection system built. And connect up the last little bits of the conveyor network. Oh. Oh dear. Uh oh. I heard that no. from here. Uh oh. I've got a bigger problem. I've just lost power. Oh, well, there's that battery that you were going to get rid of anyway. Uh, yes. That's <laughs> problematic. I'm almost wedged in a crater and I'm out of power. Uh, you're only 170 meters away though. Yeah, I've aged You it. are very deep in a crater. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. That didn't go well. Uh, it didn't. <laughs> I might be able to drive back out. <laughs> well, uh, How is nothing else damaged? Okay, well, the connector is damaged. Um, but other yeah. than You basically that, smacked everything... the back end down. Yeah. Well. I would almost recommend removing the battery and putting it somewhere else when you get the repair parts. Because then you can have the conveyor system hooked up properly. Yeah, and I've still got 15. I'd have to remove the gyros and the conveyor uh, converter as well. But yeah, think about where you want the battery and just move your battery to there. I think I'll get out of the hole and then do that. No, no, because you're going to have to grind down the battery. Which is a waste of parts. Mm. Uh, uh, I only need five power cells to repair it. Mostly. Uh, okay. Fine. Fine. I had dreams about my... That how my ejector system might actually look decent, and they, uh... It does. Oh, no. No, it does not. Kind of like you work backwards from the drop pod to get a miner. Fuel low. Miner? I don't know, it's a basic miner. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. Oh, I wanted it to look... I wanted it to look interesting. Yeah. Um, even if not attractive, at least interesting. Everyone will go, wow, I haven't seen something like that before. Oh no, I've done something really dumb. Oh no. I've put a conveyor and ejector over a thruster. Yeah. That's real do. Yeah, I, I do like how we put our medical room right next to a pit of doom. <laughs> yeah, it was a sensible decision. I mean, you could put some railings around it. Uh, yeah, and I really need to remember build the backup survival kit. The backup survival kit will run out of power in two days. Yeah, that's forty-eight hours game time. True. It's a long time. It is. Just thought it'd be longer than that. Wait, why is my why? Why are you no sharing that battery? Wait, what? Why well, it defaulted to no share? I. What? Do batteries default to no share ownership now? I don't think so. Um, hang on, let me go check the rover. No, the battery's set to share with faction. That's weird. I'm pretty happy with this. 
It looks interesting. It's not completely boring. It's not just samey. It's got a chubby little look to it. <laughs> Almost looks like a deep sea submersible. Alright, I have all the ice I can carry. I'm coming back. And then I should have this miner ready to fly it. Still haven't put lights on it though. I'm going to keep slipping your plates to the back of the queue if I need something. Yeah, I noticed you were doing that earlier. <laughs> How are we looking? 10% on the tanks already. Neat. So either that's a very good sign or a very bad sign. <laughs> it either means that's heaps or nothing. Yeah. Oh, are you draining all the ice from the... No. Actually, I've left the ice in the say, base. I was going to say get a hydrogen tank on the base. Yeah, that's my next job now. Do you know what I'm almost tempted to do? What? Build a grav gen. Hmm. Because it's almost easier to parkour if the if you have higher gravity. Yeah, that's a fair point. Because the floatiness means it takes so long to do a jump that you don't want to do a jump. But there is also the increased risk of us splatting. You win some, you lose some. We'd use more jetpack fuel, wouldn't we? I don't. Because like, it, it affects player. Uh, yeah, we probably would use a bit more. All right, do I have any ice left? A little bit. Actually, a moderate amount. I'm full of these tanks. Seventy-three percent. I reckon I can be able to fly with this. The maiden voyage. Oh, hang on. Have you Lights. named it yet? Uh, I was almost going to call it the potato, but that would be too referential, I think. You got a name for it that you think might work? Um, I can't think of one. <laughs> so, I did not have a name for it. I'm not <laughs> sure what to name it. Well, we uh, want to see if it survives long enough before naming it. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a valid, that, that is a valid concern, yes. So here goes. Don't smash it into the base. <laughs> oh, I was 70% when good. I took off. I'm still 70% fuel. So that's a good sign. Actually, that could work with the miner. If we have a gravity gen, you got an artificial... Would that make it affect it? So it'd be in zero G? Uh, no, because the artificial gravity doesn't affect the grids. Uh, even with the artificial mass on it? Oh, if you put artificial mass on it, uh, yes, you could use a grav gen to negate gravity in mm. that way. Well, I guess the gravity gen probably doesn't... be tricky to implement in a useful way. Yeah, it doesn't have enough range to get to the... Like, if we're going to have the grav gen on the base, you know, you'd have to yeah. be right next to the thing you're mining. Yeah. I like how it's like we're on the moon and we're trying to make it like space. <laughs> well, I mean, because you've got the option to. Mm. Like, give an engineer an option. It's got kind of, from the front, it's got an almost aggressive stance with the drills all down low and it's like, mm. I still, I, I still, the name is not coming to mind for this thing. Huh. There are two Cyclopses up there. Does that make one, like, normal person? One, one Ooh. normal ship with two eyes? Oh, a third storage, 5.4, uh, 5.14 kilometers away. Um, well, I guess once I get a few things mined, we could perhaps see if we can take out that storage facility. See if we get anything useful from there. Actually, how much ammo have we got? Uh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to go do some mining. Yep. 84% fuel. Really need to keep an eye on that. Uh, do we want more iron first? Um, we have currently got... Just six and a half thousand. Uh, it's not. Uh, maybe I should grab more ice first. Probably, yeah. Like grab more ice first, and then grab some iron. I should so see what the comments suggest about um what what to name this. Yeah. For attacking the storage facility, do you reckon we should just go in on, like, do you reckon your rover could be armed with a turret or two, and we just go in on our rovers and try and hmm. take out the turrets? That could work. Oh, it's almost morning. Ooh. Might be able to see again. Yay. That's 
probably an ideal for us to do an assault on that storage facility. Would be. I feel like we're at a greater disadvantage to the computer when we can't see. Oh, man, it's... I actually really love having a hydrogen-based miner for that instant refill. You have to sit around waiting for your batteries to be working again. Yeah. I mean, sure, the fuel tank is empties very, very quickly, but... Still. It's kind of cool. The sun is just barely above the horizon, so all the little tips of each crater are visible, but then there's these yeah, deep there's seas like of black between them. And our little tiny beacon of light down there. I'm slightly tempted to build a few batteries around the perimeter of our crater. Slap a turret on them. Maybe a yeah. searchlight. Yeah, there you are. I'd better get out of the way before you crash into me. Oh, could you quickly check something for me? Uh, yeah. What? How full is the tank on the base? 22% and filling. Okay. That's probably alright for a little while then. So I think it holds many, many... Oh, there's gold here! Gold! Yeah! We're rich! Yield modules! Yes! Less hand mining! <laughs> well, there shouldn't be any more hand mining now. Ah, uh, that's... Less mining, yeah. <laughs> well, unless I crash this thing. <laughs> uh. But I, I've put an excessive amount of thrust on this, so it's less likely yes. to be crashed. It would require a truly impressive piece of flying to crash it. <laughs> Although now that I've said that... Uh, you're tempting me. You are tempting me. Alright, I'm loading up my truck. But I should probably help you get some more turrets on the base first, actually. Uh, have you started contemplating how you're going to armor up your rover? Um, thought about it. Being far too distracted with interior design. Hmm. I think I think let's let's just try and get some more turrets on. We can. Yeah. Like you've definitely there's definitely a degree of protection for the stuff in here, especially uh, except for the roof. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the important bit. <laughs> Possible. You no, know, we're managing to break even effectively on power because we're fully recharged in 15 hours. Um, we've almost forgotten something very important. What? Because you filled up that hydrogen tank, uh, how are we going to get oxygen? We've got no ice. We probably need an oxygen tank as well. <laughs> good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. Because I go to refill and I'm like, wait. Uh, I will get onto that shortly. <laughs> We haven't. Have we run out of ice yet? Uh, yes. Delight. Have you got oxygen in your bottle? Uh, I've got seven. I uh, there happened to be a spare one in the O2 gen, so I grabbed that one. But after that, that's it. Okay, so I've got a bit of time. I'll get this turret built, and then I'll go collect a load of ice. Um, yep. And by then, you should have your rover ready to go. I assume. Yeah, uh, should be. Yeah. Pretty close to anyway. Oh, um, oh, that's just mildly annoying. I've just noticed that the um, rotor isn't perfectly centred because of the way I've built the thing. <laughs> Who cares? Asymmetry is cool. We'll, we're gonna, this thing will keep expanding. We're gonna have yeah. to have some landing pads for our fighters. There's gonna be any cargo ship we capture, we're gonna bring back here and work on. So that there, there's gonna be so much, so many changes to this. Um, mm. That's why I'm stressed. That's why I've got so little stress over how it looks right now. Because I'm like, yeah. Yeah. We'll adapt, yeah, this we'll is, change. Yeah, this will basically be like the core building and everything else will be outside. And we'll we'll merge... Like, we'll end up probably merging a cargo ship or two onto the base. Hmm. I reckon. Making one giant mega ship. Mega base. Mega base. This has what feels like just about the right amount of fuel. Ooh. But not a lot of sideways braking thrust. Almost ran into the solar panels. Um, because I... That's not reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly make it back with a, between 60 and 70% of fuel left. Which means I've got a good safety margin on it. Without it being ridiculously excessive. There you go. Ice delivered. Uh, let's have a look here. I ground the wrong thing off, and I ground off one of my wheels. Oh dear. Well, since I've now done that error, it's time for me to change things up. 
dramatically then. I just need to do a little jump to add the wheels. I don't think I'm going to go 5x5 five five wheels, but I'm going to lift my 3x3s three three so my chin's a bit further off the ground. Nah, I think this is a bit too much. I've got to have a look. <laughs> if you're saying it's a bit too much, i got to have a look. Oh, geez, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're fully caging in you. Yeah, I think that's a bit... I think I think, I think the like bit that. in front of the... I think the rest of it's fine, but the bit in front of the glass with the windscreen yeah. is a bit much. You could, however, something that might work, um, would be putting some of the barred windows. Oh, uh, yeah. I was kind of thinking of that. Like, if the cockpit... At least just on the sides? Hmm, yeah. Could work. All right. Looks like I've basically added an entire frame of scaffolding to my rover, but hopefully it'll mean the wheels don't get shot off in a single hit. I <laughs> like how you're just flying upside down with your head. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean with the extra... What is this? Yeah. I'm now trying to figure out what this reminds me of. I think the back set of wheels needs to move one block forward, but I'm not going to do that now. I'll deal with that later. Yeah. It's one block too far back. Uh, if it goes one block forward, then I think we'll be it'll it's, look a lot more balanced. This is kind of like the tick if you made it more Feel vertical and less low. wide. <laughs> sort of. Sure, I agree with that, but sure. The base should hopefully be here when we get back. I mean, it's got a roof. It's got plenty of guns. Yeah, it's it's in a much better position this time to withstand any drones that attack than it was last time. Hmm. All right, I'm good to go. Yep. Let's do this go. thing. So you've got twin rotor turrets, but only one can shoot at any point in time if things are close to horizontal to you. Yeah, uh, I think so. I mean, uh, they sh unless something is low enough that. Hmm. Like a base. I think it'd be like if you've got the base on one side and the drone is approaching from the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. Mm. I'm just, like, yeah. evaluating what we have. I mean, I could technically fit another pair in front, but I don't think that would work. No, oh, that's great there, too. No! No! Oh, dear, this is going to be an awkward landing. Got it. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, we're heading back towards the wreck as well. Uh, you can get out of there? Yep. <laughs> just... Oh, I better move, or you're going to... Oh, you better move Ooh. quickly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, rover's on the moon. Gotta love it. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, there's an observer as well. Oh. There is too. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's hopefully far enough away that we won't attract drones from both. Um, well, it depends. Do they help each other, the bases? Ah, <laughs> uh, they can. Oh, boy. They don't always, but they can. It could be problematic then. Well, let me just make sure my gun's set up correctly. <laughs> run headlong into whatever comes. And then run away. <laughs> that's where the fun lies. Um, I get the feeling they're going to get angry at us very soon. Possibly, based on what we saw last time. That seems quite likely. Uh, any thoughts on tactics here, or are we just going for it? Um, I was going to say, if there's some conveniently placed terrain where we can get a bit closer. Oh, right, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Fruit fly inbound. Fruit fly from behind us. Uh, is towards that in the us or heading towards base? our base? I've stopped. Uh, it I. is. Oh, no, but it's heading our way, maybe? Maybe? I, I don't know. It's heading down. Oh, Do you reckon we try and it. pursue it? Yeah, but it, it's not heading towards... Oh, no. It's heading towards our wreck. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> it's got no defense. No. <laughs> Gonna go and save it. Forgot we owned that. No. <laughs> It'll I mean, shoot off the thought... battery and then probably ignore the rest of it, won't it? True, but we don't want it to. No. Neither of us set a speed limit on our new wheels, did we? Uh, I did. I did. Oh! <laughs> she always fell over. Well, this could be bad. This could be an awkward landing. Right next to that crater, and then avoiding no, that. No, I see it crater. firing. It's firing. Yep. yep. I'm still 1.2k's out from it. I'm about to roll. I'm upside no. down. Oh, you're uh, on fire. Yep. 
Looks like I'm gonna. It's just have to my turret that's on on fire though. My regular turret, my rotor turret survived. Still firing? Doesn't look like it is. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Oh, okay. The battery's probably on the underside, so it's gonna take a bit for it to get to it. Oh, this terrain's not ideal. Jumping. 900 meters. Owning all these wrecks around is actually a good strategy. It means the drone's less likely <laughs> to get our main base. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's another crater. Ish. All right, I'm 670 meters from the drone. Oh, in range. Firing. Rolling. Crashing. Again? So you've crashed on basically smooth terrain. <laughs> yep. So I can't get my control. Right. Come on, target locking. Go fast. My turret keeps messing up my control when I'm in the air. Mm. Come on, shoot the fruit fly. It's too high up. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Wait a second. What, jump? Yep. <laughs> It's like just 20 meters too high up. <laughs> Actually, I might have to do the same thing. Oh, oh no. My wheel strength isn't high enough. Yeah. Oh, no, no oh, turret. No. Why? Oh, it's this turret. The, the rotor turret just messes with any of my gyro control when I'm in the air. It's wanting me to roll. It's mate, really hard to fight against. Uh, the free fly doesn't seem to be shooting anymore. I know. Uh, that could be a trap. It's probably taken out the battery, judging what by what's seeing? falling off. Hmm? I'm seeing uh, stuff uh, fall from it. Oh, yeah. It took damage. Mm, your shooting, presumably? Presumably. Uh, mm, just checking out no, the battery. Uh, Battery's still intact, so is the oxygen tank. Um, but it has smashed apart most of what was here. Hmm. Not shooting at us, though. I wonder if there's enough... Oh, there are probably are not enough parts here for me to repair oh. my... Oh! Ah, it's side bombing! It's got into range. Oh, yeah, my guns are working. <laughs> uh, we get it? I think that might have done it in. Now, does anything here have a uh, grid in it? Oh! It, Fuel critical. It's still circling, but uh, I think it's disarmed now. Also, I'm out of hydrogen now. Yeah. I stayed flying too long. Um, I'm trying to find the materials I need to repair my turret, and I don't think this place has them. Probably not. Because the turret is also the pass-through for the ammo. Ah. Uh, well, uh, we don't have to worry about separating the oxygen tank from the base. The drone did it for us. Hmm. No, I don't think you're going to have the stuff. Oh, the, almost the entire base is loose. You're going to drop it on yourself. I did, lot, I did that on purpose because I'm out of hydrogen. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do I warn him or <laughs> is it worth grinding down the battery in the oxygen tank to repair your gun? Well, they don't have grids. Wow. Oh, well, I need case... five grids. I mean, we don't really need the oxygen tank. We've got oxygen back at base, so I'm going to grind yeah. the computers out a bit. I don't think. Wow. There's still a toilet seat up here. It doesn't have grids, does it? Uh, no. If we get lucky and the next place has some metal grids, we can repair it. Wait, so you didn't fill your hydrogen bulb before we left? Or you I thought, thought I you did. Saw? I apparently didn't. Wow. Well. Makes it fun for me, doesn't it? Attempt number two. Right. We'll actually get to the base this time. And hopefully the drone won't come from a direction where it attacks something else. Yeah. I mean, we're not too fast if we lose that battery at this point. Are we? No. Uh, good, I'm set to target weapons. It is annoying that I've got this giant fireball as I roll along, though. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I definitely think with these rotor guns, especially with me having two, you need your vehicle to have a much lower centre of mass or just more weight. Because it really yeah. pulls it. Yeah, I'm feeling like I want to put some, maybe even mass blocks, but at least batteries along the bottom row of my rover. Yeah, put like some small batteries in the undercarriage. Yeah, some... Uh, like anything yeah, like, to add some mass down there so that it pulls it that way because the rotor really overwhelms my my gyro 
I've got two gyros at 100% power and it's still a bit. Yeah. Like, the reason Ooh. I landed on my roof was the rotor was actually flipping me over. Oh. Because to keep them stable, we've got to use share inertia tensor and the share inertia tensor effectively makes it heavier. Oh, fruit fly. Oh. Ah, uh, we're paying for the wreck again, I think. Uh, oh, well. well I don't think I'll just ignore it this time. <laughs> yeah. Rushing to try and save that uh, was not in our best interests last time. I really hope that observer doesn't help out. It's three kilometers away, so we should be outside its irritation range. Uh oh, fruit flies chasing me now. Oh dear. Think. Right. Maybe? No? I really cannot tell. Uh, it's not moving. It's just going up and down at the moment. But it's way closer to me than the wreck is. Uh, it's coming. It's coming towards us now. Now it's chasing. Oh, and I'm in really open terrain. Open terrain's good. Uh, not for it shooting me. I can hide. Ah, I for can you hide shooting it, it is, because you can keep moving. Ha! Ah, defeated by hiding behind this hill. Oh, no, it's figuring it out. Oh, took a pot shot. What the, what the heck is going on oh. with my rover? Oh. Ah, it's got assault cannons. Yeah, it does. Oh, we got the guns. Yep, all right. Uh, it, I, oh, I think it's crashing. Yeah, it's crashing. I need to not be underneath it when it falls. <laughs> oh no, it stopped itself. Oh, it's gonna hit me! No, it's not. Ugh. Watch out! <laughs> oh man, that was close. Oh, what is it? That is some janky flying. <laughs> I think it's lacking it... some thrust in some direction. Yeah. It's somehow still up though, and it's got no weapon. Yep. Um, it still I... appears to be a threat though, with that. Yeah, it's a threat of crashing into us when we're not looking at it. Yeah. Uh, should I go first to the person who's not already damaged? Uh, possibly, and I also have the survival kit. Just trying to see if there's anywhere we can get that's closer, that's not in firing line. Uh, oh! Oh! Ah! I think if we go right, instead of the way you're going, we can yeah. get closer. Yeah, I definitely need some more weight, because I really can't drive at any sort of decent speed with these guns. Yeah. I think mass blocks are going to be the way to go. Mm. Obviously switched off because we're in natural gravity, not artificial, but they're super heavy, and I, I think we're going to need them. 550 meters away. 450. Taking fire. Oh, they're firing. <laughs> oh, turret, stop, please. Oh, yeah, the observer's detected us, uh, but it's not sending anything. Actually, I might be able to get half decent shot this. Oh yeah, because my vehicle's shorter than yours. Yeah. So I'm... where I'm parked is 300 meters away. 310. Which I reckon puts us in a nice position to hit it. It does have a Gatling gun on it though. So we can uh, do a lot more damage. That's oh. the Gatling. Uh. No, I'm taking... Uh. Yeah, you were taking some heavy fire. Oh, we got a space force. Might be inbound. Oh, yeah. Conveyor system's taking some damage. Luckily, my guns don't seem to be affected. Yeah, I think I can't really drive this and fire at the same time. No, you gotta drive real slow and keep make sure you all your wheels stay on the ground. Uh, where's the space was? It's 4.3 k's out. It's going Moving further away? away. Oh, it's going after my unknown signal. <laughs> uh -huh. I've got an unknown signal that's like right there. Okay. Um. So, um, do we want to attack from the same side? I suppose it doesn't really matter as long as uh, we're, we've got a bit of separation between us. I'm almost tempted to try plinking that Gatling gun on Gatling turret on foot because of how the issues is our vehicles have with moving. There is that. There is that. And basically have the uh, rovers hold off the drones. Oh, the right. space lost has given up on the unknown signal and figured it out. Hang this way. Oh, okay, we should probably stay in a good the fruit fly is still circling. Oh boy, the other fruit fly is like right above us. Thought it was crashing for a second. So many red signals. Oh! Wow. Moving shot! 
Ow! 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 I can't... I'm... My turret's partially down. I've lost three Hang of on. my Gatlings. Yeah, I've had to engage the handbrake just to be able to fire. Oh, it's still bouncing around. Well, it changes targets. I'm taking heavy Ooh, Gatling fire geez, from one of the drones. Man. Oh. I've lost my cargo container. No, I lost one of my rotor guns. I, I think we might have been defeated. I've lost an arm. Um, um, I've taken out all the drones, though. They're yeah. now all defanged. Yep. Okay. Space right. was just crashed. All right, fine. Let's let's take on that base then, I guess. We've already aggravated it. Oh, I've just realized I've only got one wheel on one side. Well, I've got six wheels and only one gun, so um I mean, let's we could do a we could do a heroic Whoa! Retreat. What the That was so close to hitting me. Ah, get out of the way. Get out of it. Oh. It's I, Is it trying to ram me? No, I don't think it is. Oh man, that was okay, really maybe, close. Maybe we should get out of here. Well, how are you going to do that without getting I the can... parts for those wheels? Uh, I don't need them. I've well, got you do enough. to make the wheels Critical. drive and steer and stuff. No, uh, no, I've, I've still got my front wheels, so I've still got steering and propulsion. Um, isn't that just going to crash on you? Whoa! I would like it dead. There Ooh. we go. Okay. Yeah, I think we crawl back to base. Um, well, we've base already aggravated take... this thing. I'm thinking we just try and take out its Gatling if we can. Suppose so. Oh, I got killed. Really? <laughs> Maybe crawling back to base is the right choice. Uh, well, I mean... I've only got one gun, I'm missing, or one rotor turret, I'm missing yep. a couple of wheels outside. I think. Do we, we call this a failure? I'd say it was a, a test that discovered we need more weight with rotor guns. Yeah. <laughs> the rotor turrets really did us in here, didn't they? Well, although I guess also we probably might have had the rotation speed, the defaults might be a bit high. Hmm. Anyway, if we drove back to base, I figure the drones will either crash or get shot by the base. Yep. All right, I'll follow you since you're um kind of limping. I've got I'm a five wheeler at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Because the uh, back one's damaged, so I can't add a wheel. Well, look how much is missing from my truck. <laughs> You've got a convertible now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, so that oh jeez, that really didn't go particularly well. No. Uh, yeah, it turns out mobility is the best armor, and with the way these guns were set up, we did not have much mobility. No, and it's really hard to test. Oh, actually, I've got an idea of how to test. How? We just need two seats on on our rovers. One person while testing ah, it. The base oh. shooting us. Get down. Um, yeah, so what I was thinking of is we could test these by one person flailing the turret around wildly while the other tries to drive it. Hmm. That might give us a reasonable indication of whether um, we can manage to do what we're doing. Are we about to be attacked by the space wasp? I think we are. Oh, the light. Doesn't matter. Are we good? I think so. Okay, this is the problem with no targeting weapons. You're not entirely sure. I think my hinge might be damaged, maybe? I'm not sure. Well, mine, my rotor, because my turret is offset, every time my Gatling fires on the left, it pushes the rotor. Mm. And so it loses target. And so it does a couple of shots, flails wildly, does a couple more, flails wildly, does a couple more, flails I like wildly. How, I, like, I like how we've got all these spectators following us now. <laughs> oh, and one of my lights is damaged as well. Yes, that's that's what you need to be worried about. Your light. Well, uh, next time, we will attempt to make our rovers better and see if we can capture one or both of those bases that are there. Hmm. Because we really do need to have these rovers kitted out so that they can take on the drones. 
because once we start going against the cargo ships, we may need some sort of mobile platform that we can use to take on the drones. Mm. And we don't have to keep going back to base to fix them every time we... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is the it is the issue with small grid stuff. It, it takes more damage and, you know, it's not as durable. Uh, we need to go right here. Okay. Um, so, yeah. There's all that and plenty more fighting to come. And we will see you then. Goodbye. <laughs> Did ah, you like? Shot. Ah, no! No, no! No, 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 no! How many drones are there? Apparently more. My turret is useless! Okay, mine's actually pretty good. Oh no, I think I'm running out of ammo. I've got ammo. Okay, oh. I think we got it. Yep. Oh, okay. or not. I'm completely out of ammo. Okay, we need to get back to the base. Lisa. I heard an explosion, and so I'm pretty sure it's dead. Uh, so yeah, there's all... <laughs> see, told you there was more fighting to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see you then. Goodbye, again. <laughs>